and keep no secrets. Well, you didn't fucking tell us about that, did ya? Hey, you best some people at Top Fest. We got that cunt, that cunt, that cunt, we got that cunt, and that cunt. The place is fucking full of them. There, there were some more cunts, but they've fucked off now. He thought I called him a fat cunt, he got offended. No, they're, like, they're like, explain, no, I said that cunt, and he's alright. I'm, I'm his favourite cunt. I am offended. <laughs> I am going to tweet about this. Oh, boob. Shut up, you fat cunt. I got a message from an ex girlfriend yesterday who fucking found me on TikTok. She basically said if I was to tell any stories about mine and her relationship, she'll tell all you lot why we broke up. So I thought, you know what? Nah, fuck that. I ain't have no fucking blackmail hanging over me. I'll just fucking tell you lot why now. Right, so, to be honest, I've kind of slept with her twin. It was a fucking mistake. Well, yeah. I mean, they both have blue eyes, blonde hair. Both have that same cute little freckle on the fucking upper lip. I mean, the biggest difference, Stacy had fucking massive beauty. <laughs> and, and the twin Steven, he, he had, he, he had a <laughs> yeah. So I'm driving home the other day and my wife calls me up to let me know that the dishwasher was leaking. So I said not to worry, I'll grab the parts to fix it. So I popped to the shop and grabbed the stuff and head home. When I got home I passed her the shopping bag and she opened it. And she just looked in it and threw it fucking back at me. I'm guessing I got the wrong type of tampons. I started TikTok to take my mind off my mental issues. I didn't plan on helping others with this. One day, I got a message from someone saying my video saved his life. They were about to end it all until they saw me speak up about my issues. It was this day I decided I wanted to help others. I believe if I can make you smile or laugh, you will want to see what else the day holds. I'll never quit. Neither will you. Apologies if you were, but those who wasn't, as a child, did you ever wonder if you was adopted? I must have been around about seven when I asked my dad. I went up to him while he was working at his PC and said, Dad, am I adopted? He was a little shocked and he said, What? No. And before I got to say something back, he said, Out of all the kids at the adoption centre, do you really think I would have picked you? Me and my wife agreed a long time ago we wouldn't have that conversation. You know the one where you reveal each other's body count? But we've been together like seven years, and we was in a hotel room bored. I thought, fuck it, let's tell each other. She said, it's not like it matters now we're married. Well, I went first, and I never got to hear hers. She stormed out the room and didn't come back. I mean, I probably should have stopped when I got to her. Alexa, call Sophia. Calling Sophia's mobile. Ah, hey hon, can you grab some salt? I really want to try something tonight. 